Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. My goodness. All right, let's do something right now. Let's share an emotion and an emoji, a reaction of how you feel. Well, I hope you have this in English so you can see the reactions in English as well. Yeah, I see. All right, sleepy. <laughs> All right. What with okay, let's see. I don't okay. This one is yum. Okay. Hungry, probably. All right. Smiling. Green. Laughing. Joy. Okay. Relax. Blush. Innocent, <laughs> winking, relief. Uh, okay, so you can even see the emojis in in English, right? All right, so we just had two reactions. So now I'm confused. <laughs> okay. So you just have to make a reaction. All right, how you feel? <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, that will be okay. Good. Oh, by the way, tomorrow is spooky day. Exactly, <laughs> because it's yeah. Friday, the 13th Friday, of 13th. October. <laughs> it's true. Believe it or not. Well, check lantern. <laughs> we also have lots so many reactions here. So we can share. All right, nice. What of the traditions from Americans, right? Oh, by the way, they also say there's going to be uh, an eclipse on Saturday, they say, I guess. I don't know if it's just like that. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope everybody is able to participate. Because let's, let's see. Mm hmm well done hopefully we are ending with the rainy days because most of the days uh this mornings have i mean yeah these days every morning's been raining thank god in the evening it's not raining much but it's october already so kind of different because by this time the rainy season is to supposed to be stopped already but it continues raining so in the news <laughs> okay among other news so hopefully everybody's connected we can get started so 
Let me go to the presentation. This is in Trinity 4. We are on October the 12th, Thursday, class number 14. The reminders, the usual reminders for the right behavior and attendance in class. Participation is important. Okay. The video conference format should be like this. And we're describing the fundamentals of warehousing management, identifying the most issues related to warehouse. Oh, by the way, yesterday that I shared the Padlet just got four comments. And I was like super, super excited to see what you think about it. But just very few people were able to comment. So in case you still want to do your homework, Okay, this is still available. All right. All right, let's see. For those who didn't post their comments, you can still do it. All right. I'm going to still share the link here on this session chat because, yes, very few people did it. Very few. I mean, if you already did it, don't worry. It's the same activity since yesterday, so you don't have to do it again. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyways, let me stop sharing so that you can stay present for your attendance. Let's start with Abigail. Present teacher. Hi. Okay, Atilio. Present. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Emerson. Present teacher. Hi. Francisco, Hazel. I think it's been a while I don't see Hazel in this session. Let me just get comfy. Oh, Julissa. She's not here either. Carla. Nope. Don't see her. Miss Javier. Present Miss. Okay. Luis Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Then we have Manuel. Present. I think I skipped. Magdiel. <laughs> Present teacher. Hi. <laughs> Present. All right. Marley. Present. Mario. Present. Robert. Robert is a who? Ronald. Victor. Vidal. Waldir, Carlos. Present teacher. Hi. Well, let's see. Present teacher. Hey, Robert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Great. You didn't mention me, teacher. Didn't I? No. I did. Oh, uh, well, I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I had seen you already because you were uh, texting on okay, the chat. Thanks. Yeah, there I already identified. And Carla said good evening on the chat as well. All right, good. Well, as I was saying, <laughs> we are still studying uh, Unit 3 about warehousing. 
let me keep on the presentation. All right, so yesterday we were identifying some of the issues related to warehousing and how to solve them, how to uh, address those warehousing issues. Today we are going to, let's say, study something um very, very deep into the language, which is these connectors, connectors are expressions or phrases that we use to connect ideas. And in this case, the ideas that we're going to connect are the consequences, right? So, or the, the results. We usually know them in English like uh, consequences or cause and effect, right? So these are some of the synonyms that we use for therefore. So we use thus accordingly as a consequence, as a result. Actually, we see those two expressions yesterday in the conversation. As you can see, because of that, consequently due to that fact, due to this, there you go, this one doesn't sound very familiar to me, but they mention it here. For the reason, for this reason, so subsequently, and that being so. Well, there are some of these expressions that are very, very common. And probably some others that are not very common. Okay, so I would say definitely so among the most common as a result. Okay, therefore, for that reason, um due to this because of that okay for this reason for that reason those are very very common actually okay let me just move on these are some of these expressions but also i mean already used in sentences right so appropriately the film complex finances Financing reflects the wide spectrum of interest. Obviously, the examples are of different contexts, okay, not necessarily related to warehousing. As a consequence, this, this junction is the rocks represents a huge gap in the record because of the delay we were offered seats in first class. Mm -hmm. Consequently, the view is frequently referred to as mathematical plotosinism. But has only no okay that comes from plateau probably. Correspondingly, in the small cap font has also become a leading start of the font. Equal responsibility is more important than anything else. So it is very late, hence, hence it's also another word that it's very, very common. You must go to bed, and henceforth, okay. I expect you to be punctual for meeting. Subsequently, new guidelines were issued to all employees. He was busy, therefore he could not come. He sold his arm and thus he had enough money for his journey of his, his farm. Wherefore, the continuous method can be used in the practical engineering. So these are some of the connectors, some of the expressions that we use to connect as a consequence, as a result of, therefore, right? And the book definitely presented like this, okay? They don't present as many, but this is how the book presents them. So they say, look at examples in the box, complete the exercise. The transcription, help connect idea. In this case, these transitions Sorry, transitions, I say transcriptions, transitions. So these are the connectors, right? Transitions help connect the idea. In this case, this transition connects as a result of the action that causes it. When the transition is positioned between two clauses, punctuation can be as follows. So they are usually uh, by period with the first idea and then with comma after the connector or after the transitions, right? So we usually use them as connectors. And the first example given says the label information was wrong, period, because that idea finishes there, right? 
As a consequence, comma, the packages were put in the incorrect bins. The products were not properly packaged, period. As a result, comma, they were damaged. The vendors missed the delivery date. This is semicolon. Consequently, so it can be either period or semicolon, right? The retailer asked for reimbursement. We didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. Semicolon, as a result, comma, some workers had to go to the hospital. There were no worker safety guidelines. Semicolon, therefore, comma, we trained the staff in safe procedures. So these are uh, some of the connectors, some of the transition words that we are using to connect as a result of, okay, as a consequence, therefore. All right, so try to keep them in mind as a consequence, as a result, consequently, as a result again, and therefore. So we have, well, one, two, three, four. So keep them in mind. Let me just show it from the manual, how it looks. It's definitely the same one, but for you to get the right page. Actually, yeah, yesterday in the conversation, we got that's why and as a result, right? So this can be found on page 28. One second, please. Yes, I'm gonna show it for you to take notes in case you are taking notes and take in, in case you're definitely following the order of the lessons on your book. All right. Check it out. Is there any question regarding this? No questions. Oh, good. I have to admit that I like to see, I think this one, the underline. Before this was much better. Therefore, okay. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Okay, good. So I'm going to give you some time for you to read the example. So maybe you can interact with your partner reading the example and saying what you understand about this explanation on how to use the transitions. The transition words, okay? The transitions that express a result, as a result of, okay, as a consequence of something, of an action previously done. All right, let's see. Interact, you can share a screen, you can read examples, you can make similar examples actually, just to get familiar with the structure. I don't know if you, some of you have the PDF or working in a, in a notebook or laptop. Good evening. 
I hear you a little bit low. Oh, sorry. Uh, what about now? Better. So I think we should okay. should be read first the transition help connect ideas. Then the corresponding ideas. So we can read one by one. If you want to uh, you. Sure, but uh, I I don't have the PDF now because I'm I on my cell phone. I don't know if you or McDill are in a computer. In oh order yeah. To share oh. your screen. Hello. Um, sorry. Uh, I'm I'm still driving to my it's home. Okay, McDill. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay. Hi, Luis. Yeah, it could be a it could be a comma. So maybe a comma. Yeah, a comma. The second one is the vendor is keeping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste time to open the box. Count the items and rebox them. Okay. I here it could be a, a semicolon because there's another comma in the sentence. So you think this is a comma or? A... Uh, no, a semicolon. Oh, okay. The third one is the warehouse. Doesn't have enough ducks. Therefore, we have to put products in the ice list. Ice list. Maybe it's a semicomma too. A semicomma with a comma. Yes, I think it is semicolon. In which one? And the third one? After or before the Ah. Uh, mm, The semicomma is like a pause, but more longer than, than a comma. Hmm. Maybe after? After therefore. Yes. 
Ya, ya. Okay. Or maybe before? <laughs> I think, I mean, I think there are so many ways to do this. I don't think that is only one, one way to do it. Um, and the examples, um, I don't see if we can use a semicolma uh, after the connect. But it's possible. It it is okay to use it um before. In, I mean, I I don't see any problem. But to be honest, I don't know. Okay, if you want, we can continue with the number four. Yes, if you want to move it. Okay, sure. Uh, the conveyor belt progress a consequence. There is not enough stuff to put arriving packages away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay, I think this is... uh, it could be a, a period after broke. And then as a consequence, a coma. There's not there is not enough stuff to put the arriving packages away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. I mean to me is there is no like a only way to do it, but I don't know. The teacher will tell us if it is good or not. Yeah. All right, everybody's back, right? I see someone is still well. 
two people are still in the break columns. All right. So to refresh the information. I'm going to ask someone to help me out reading. Anyone? Me, teacher. All right. Thank you. Um, all are just the first. I'm just going to be pointing out what you got to be. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, transition help connect ideas. In this case, these transactions connect a result to the action that caused it. The caused it, right? When the transition is positioned between two clauses, punctuation can be as follows. The la label, the label information was wrong. As a consequence, the packages were put in the incorrect bins. The products were not properly packaged. As a result, they were damaged. The vendors missed the delivery date. Consequently, the retailer asked for a reimbursement. We didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. As a result, some workers had to go to the hospital. There were no co no worker safety guidelines. guidelines. Therefore, we try we trained the staff in safety producers. Procedures. Procedures. Ah, procedures. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. You see, this happened. So as a consequence, this happened. Or because of this, as a result, this happens, right? So these are the transition or the connectors that we use to show the results, right? Okay. Then you have this exercise read the warehouse issues below apply the corresponding punctuation and compare your answers with a part okay the number one says we remove items from cartons and packages as a result speakers are not able to find them when they need to so this is already I mean, the idea is already complete, right? What you needed to do was just to add the punctuation. We remove items from cartons and packages. What can you, what sort of punctuation can you add there? Maybe two commas. Actually, uh, the most recommended is when we finish the first clause, a uh, period or a semicolon, which is the period and the comma. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add it for you to be on the thing. I hope. Wait a minute. When it comes to adding this thing, I usually have issues because I don't know if it is going to be in the right place. All right. And then as a result here, we just need the comma. So the connector has to be set between or enclosed in a semicolon and a comma or a period and a comma. That's all, right? Mm -hmm. So we remove items from cartons and packages. As a result, speakers are not able to find them when they need. So the second one, the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Here, we perfectly can just put the period. 
but it doesn't mean that only period. Okay, it can be a semicolon as well. Okay, because it's the first clause. This is the action that provokes other consequences, right? So the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, here we have the comma. Okay, consequently, God, I, I, I was afraid this was going to happen. Consequently, because of the position of common, there's not much space. There's not much we can do. Consequently, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items, and rebox them. All right. The warehouse doesn't have enough dots. Period or semicolon. Either or. Okay, therefore, here's the comma. Therefore, we have to put products in the aisles. And the last one. The conveyor spell broke. Mm -hmm. As a consequence, here you just have to add. I think if you don't want to complicate your life, you decide to just to put the period before the connector and the comma after the connector, or just the semicolon and the comma. Okay. So I usually get easier with the semicolon, okay, the conveyor belt rock as a consequence, comma, there is not enough stuff to put arriving packages away, though this comma was very low, okay, <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm going to ask somebody else to read these sentences again, emphasizing the use of these connectors. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand, put your hands up. All right, Emerson, number one. Yes. Emerson, can you hear me? Oh, sorry, I was mute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, and he already finished reading this. <laughs> Yeah. All okay. right. It's all right. Okay. We removed items from cartoons and packages. As a result, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items, and be box them. The warehouse doesn't have enough docks. Therefore, we have to put products in the aisles. The conveyor belt broke. As a consequence, there is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. Packages away. That's packages. great. Thank you. And aisles. Aisles are similar to the things that you can find on the, on the supermarket. Right. Let's see. All right. Let me just share another exercise we're going to work on to keep practicing. Okay. This transition. I think. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yes. My goodness. I'm going to put it here in the chat. A lot easier now. 
check it out. They study a little bit of the explanations they provide and then try to answer the exercises. And once you're done, we're going to be comparing. All right. If you have any question, yes, you can just open up your microphone and ask. Hi, well, dear. Hi, good evening, Elisa. Do you really finish? No. Okay. Have you far? Excuse me. No, I mean, have you finished your? Have you finished text? Yes, I do. Oh.
Okay, I finished. You have all good. I have. Uh, let me see. Yes. Uh, four ground results. And you? Mm, I got all good. Nice. So we can start to read and compare. Okay. So the first one is doctors believe some bacteria are more resistant nowadays as a result of the mean me that word I don't know how to say it. The uh, me me shoes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the point is that the word is as a result of Oh, as a result of mm -hmm. okay. The second uh, one, we can go. Uh, um, that was wrong for me. So if you want. The second one is you have no more money. Consequently, you will stop buying useless things. Okay. The third one, he's embarrassed about being bald consequently he always wears a wig the fourth one is i didn't practice therefore i lost the competition okay next one i arrived late at work because i missed the bus Sixth one no one wants to invite her to a party seeing she is too annoying Okay, um, the number seven, I was wrong too. Okay, the students were angry since the teacher gave them homework. Okay, uh, you didn't follow the doctor's advice. Consequently, you didn't get better. Number nine, I am a translator since I studied foreign language when I was a child. You weren't polite with your friend, therefore she is angry with you. Due to the difficult of the activity, the student failed. You paid attention to the class, consequently you understood the lesson. There wasn't light in the house since the owner didn't pay the light bills. It rained with sun as a result, now there is a rainbow. Okay. What is bald? Do you know? Pelon. <laughs> what? Pelon. Pelon? O sea, calvo. Okay. I I only have two ones. Number three is because and number ten I use since.
All right, done. Correct? Yes. Okay, good. Well, let's wait for everybody to come back. Let's see, I see a couple of participants are still in the breakout rooms. All right. You have uh, an explanation at the beginning on top. Cause and effect worse than English, right? She made one big mistake. As a result, she lost her job. Mary studied hard with a chemistry exam. Therefore, she got an A. It rained heavily subsequently. Oh, consequently, sorry. The football game was canceled off. It is too late so that we cannot go to the cinema. He didn't complain to the police. According to the police took no action. She was very tired as a result of working late. My father hasn't slept in four days due to his illness. They cannot go to the cinema because it's too late. My success was largely due to luck. <laughs> they had to they have had to postpone the meeting owing to the strike and due to the bad weather, the match was canceled. Let me see. Mm -hmm. The exercise, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, the first one, doctors believe some like bacteria are more resistant nowadays. And as a result or as a result of? As a result of? As a result of misuse of antibiotics. You have no more money? Consequently. You will stop buying useless things. Is embarrassed about being bold. Consequently. He always wears a wig. I didn't practice. Therefore. Therefore, I lost the competition. I arrived late at work. Bus. Because I missed the bus. No one wanted to invite her to the party. Since. Since she's too annoying. <laughs> The students were angry since, since the teacher gave them homework. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They didn't follow the doctor's advice. Consequently. They didn't get better, right? So consequently. So that's the consequence. I'm a translator. Since. Since I studied foreign languages when I was a child, you weren't polite with your friend. Therefore, there, but she's angry with you. And the next one, due to or therefore? Due to. Due to the difficulty of the activity, the students fail. You paid attention to the class. Consequently. Consequently, you understood the lesson. There wasn't light in the house since since the owner didn't pay the light bills and the rain with sun as a result as a result now there's a rainbow that was pretty easy wasn't it yes it was right uh -huh. Okay, let me just click on something right here. Super, super good. Let's see, let's see, oh my goodness.
Is there any question about this, this topic? Is there any question you might ask? No, sure. You're sure? Yes. All right, great. Okay, one second, please. All right, it's time for the vocabulary and structure break. So I'm going to add a link right here. So open it up and let's work at it.
So you finish. Hello. Has somebody finished the exercise? Yes. You did you have it? Yes. Did you have it uh, all all right? I just failing one. Um we want to read it. The first one is she likes playing outside. The second one he preferred watching movies. The third one is Bob wants to read a book. The next one is he's crazy about playing video games. The, the five one is she needs to find address for the party. The sixth one, he's not crazy about going to the party. The seventh one, Sandra loves gardening and Sandra loves to garden. Oh, they want, they will need to study more to pass the test. Yes. Fred and Luis want to get married next summer. Fred doesn't want to spend a lot of money. The children enjoy going to a school. The government wants to encourage local spending. Cindy prefers to stay home on Friday night. Mark wants to play poker with his buddies. Josh prefers working from home. All right, how was the exercise? Easy. Pretty easy, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The verse follow either for the gerund or an infinity. So they're kind of common sense. All right. I'm going to, well, I'm going to ask you to work in the next exercise just to wrap it up with the cause and effect connectors. Let me see, let me see. Oh, yes, right here. 
I'm pretty sure this is going to be also AC. Hold on. Okay. Let's work and then we'll compare here on the general session.
I add. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. If you want, you can read the first one. Bob was late. As a result, he missed the bus. Okay. Due to it was raining heavily, we postponed the match. And you, the second one you have right is good. I sent it, but I don't receive. Um, it is good or not? Like a great. Yes. Okay. The third one I is. <laughs> is she didn't come to work because of. She was sick yesterday. My car broke down yesterday, so I went to work by bus. He was driving fast. Consequently, he had an accident. Okay. The second part. Okay. Um, I'm tired, so I fall asleep earlier. Uh, I tried. I don't know. I I don't do it in that way. I I'm, I'm tired because I'm lost. And the second one, I'm lost. Consequently, consequently, I'm tired. But I don't know. This part was weird because how the program will know if it is good or not. Well, yes. I'm typing so. Okay. Um, the number three and four. Mm -hmm. Stephanie won't get to the meeting on time, so she lost the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I read the same. I wrote the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most obvious thing. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is, it's my mother's birthday, so I will give her a present. Mm, okay. You know how to say the action of partir un pastel? Um. Or it's like a Spanish phrase. <laughs> yes, I think. It doesn't have a, like a translation. Okay. Piece of cake, I don't know. <laughs> that is not easy. Like easy, piece of cake. Depend on the context. <laughs> okay. Yes.
Okay, I think everybody is done already. Yes. All right, it says join the pairs of sentences using the transition words or connectors given in parentheses, with capital letters at the beginning of the sentence and periods at the end. Bob was late. Mm -hmm. As a result, he missed the bus. As a result, he missed the bus, right? It was raining heavily. Where do we start the sentence? <laughs> Did you get that one correct? Nope. Because I put it in the middle. Uh, so where do we have to start the sentence? At the beginning. Due to it was raining heavily, we postponed the match. Yes. Or we postponed the match due to it was raining heavily. Could it mean? Right. She was sick yesterday because of she didn't come to work. No, she didn't come to work because she was sick yesterday. Because she was sick yesterday, because of she was sick yesterday. I think just because it would be enough. Without the of. Uh huh. Or oh, because of a medical leave, she didn't come to work, probably. My car broke down yesterday. I went to work by bus. Well, that's easy. It's in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I went to work by bus. Uh, it was driving fast, consequently. He had an accident. He had an accident, right? And the other ones, you could have finished them as, as you wished. I'm tired, therefore, I'm going to go to bed early, okay? I'm lost. Consequently, I didn't get home. Consequently. <laughs> <laughs> Consequently, I asked for direction, probably. Okay, Stephanie won't get to the meeting on time due to heavy traffic. Mm -hmm. It's my mother's birthday. So, so we could buy her a present. <laughs> yeah, we could buy her a present. We could give her flowers or anything, right? Okay. We are going to move to the next lesson. Let me just, I think you must have the PDF so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, building vocabulary. Label the warehousing processes using the words from the box. We have inbound process laid out and slotting, picking, packing, shipping, and managing returns. So you have to just move these concepts up to here according to their definitions. Your orders must be packed in the right packaging, complete with an accurate content slip, and added to a delivery manifest for dispatch. These goods need to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order and the information has to be logged against the customer's account. Items need to be checked and logged as they are received and put away in the correct bins or packed for dispatch without further storage. It must be easy for your pickers to find items in their journey time between items and between orders should be minimized. Fast moving items need to be near the front and of the warehouse. Items that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separated. And the right orders must be on the right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery manifest. Right, I'm gonna give you some time for you to analyze these definitions, definitely. Okay, and try to match the process with the right definition.
Hello, up someone finish the exercise. Yes, but I got out. I'm not sure. Me too. Which is the first one for you? The first one. Um, you order must be packed. This one, right? Yes. I put packing. You? The same. And the second one? I put inbound processes, but I don't know. I put there managing returns. Mm -hmm. Because you need, you know, if you're returning something, you need to check. But I don't know. I'm not sure. The third one, I think, needs to be checked. It could be the layout and the slotting. I put there inbound process. In the fourth one, I put picking. And the fifth one, I put layout and loading. And the last one, I put shipping. Uh -huh, the, and picking? Picking in the fourth one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what you've got. All right, someone wants to read definitions, please. The first one, anybody? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Your orders? Your orders must be packed in the right packaging, complete with an accurate content slip and added to a deliver manifest for dispatch. So this would be? Which one is it? Anybody can help? Which process is this one? The first one it is... Parking. Parking, right. It says it must be packed, right? So it's packing. All right, continue. At least of it. These goods need to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order and the information has to be logged against the 
customer's account. Okay, which is this one? I think it's managing returns. Managing returns. Like this. Managing. Wait. Sorry. Managing returns. Return returns. Okay, manager, I'm not quite sure if the space is enough, so I'm I'm gonna be covering the number. All right, continue. Items need to be checked and logged as they are received and put away in the correct bins, or packed for dispatch without further storage. Mm -hmm. And this one is. It could be inbound. inbound processes. Inbound processes. Okay. Are you sure if the space is enough? Again. Inbound process. Processes. Processes. <laughs> In plural, right? Kind of. All right. Inbound processes. Please go on. It must be easy for you pickers to find items and their journey time between items and between orders should be minimized. Minimized. Yes. minimized. All right, this one should be. Mm -hmm. What did you have in this one? Packing. Packing. Packing, we already have. Oh, no, Should excuse me. Speaking. Right. Uh-huh. Yes. Must be easy for pickers, right, to find them. The items, all right. Go on, please. Fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bulked together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily, easily mistaken for each other should be separated. Mm -hmm. This one is. Tired and floating. Yes, laid out. Okay, and it's loading. It's loading. Okay, I'm afraid I have to cover the number because of the space. Laid out, sorry. And it's loading. And the last one, please. The right orders must be on the right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery manifest. And this one? Shipping. Shipping. Because the one we're missing, right? Okay. Great. All right, how about the midterm exam? Did you finish already? Yes. Yes, bingo. I hope, because I was checking the grades on the platform, let me see. There is a very big group of people who still need to work on that. Yeah, I see. Some participants already completed uh, unit one, unit two, and the midterm. But there is another group of people that still need to work on that, right? So if you are in that group, please make some time and work on it. Uh, yes, I see. All right, great. Let me just 
check something out right here as well. Did you have or have you had any inconvenience or any exercise that you haven't been able to handle on the platform? Or yes. Which one? I have one. Let me check. What section one, was? section two. Um, section one uh -huh. um with the number two. Oh my. One point one, one point two, one point three. Oh, sorry, one point seven. That was the same one that we reported last night. Oh, I didn't remember. All right, so tell me which number. Ah, uh, number two. Number two, the shipment. Yes. Okay, the shipment. Mm -hmm. Let me just check it out right here. Yeah, they say the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. That's how you you have written it. Um, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Uh huh. That's the way it should be. I don't know if needs a point at the end. Actually, it shouldn't. It shouldn't need any period. Just make sure, let me see, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. I don't know. I don't see any typo or anything. Actually, I reported uh at the beginning the capital t for the probably okay let me see no no it's still wrong yes no, 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 no. still weird let me report it once again Insisting, let me see, insisting, insisting. I'm getting it wrong. That's the wrong problem. One point seven, right? Okay. I already recorded once again. Hopefully they take care of it. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, as soon as the payment is received. That's right. All right. Last attendance. Abigail. Question. Atilio. Yes, Elizabeth and Stephanie. Present. Emerson. 
Present. Fernando. Present teacher. Francisco. Hazel. Julissa. Carla. Present teacher. Liz Javier. Liz Miguel. Present teacher. Miguel. Present. Manuel. Today is the day that I skipped the names, all right. <laughs> Marilyn. Mario. Present. Mario, Mario. Present. Where do you work, Mario? Perdón. Where do you work? Marta Día de la Libertad. Really? Yes. Nice. We need a tour to El Puerto. <laughs> okay. Roberto Saúl. Ronald. Victor. Vidal. Present teacher. Waldir. Present. Carlos. All right. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teachers. Bye. 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 Bye.